In this specific video, you're going to learn how to display related posts effectively. Imagine this. Somebody goes to your WordPress site and they read a post. They really, really enjoy the content within that post. But they don't realize that you have a lot of other content that relates to that specific post. Now, in this example, you will definitely want to use this specific method so that you can help your visitors come to your site, read your posts, and find other related posts to that specific post. In order to do that, you'll want to hop over to your WordPress dashboard, and we're going to be installing a specific plugin called the Contextual Related Posts. So hop on over to the plugins section and click on add new. And we're going to be doing a search on contextual related posts. Click on search plugins. And you'll see the post at the very top. Click on install now and OK. Enter your FTP username and password and click on proceed and click on activate plugin. Now let's configure the settings. So go under the settings and click on related posts. You're not going to see the contextual related posts. You're going to see a link for related posts. So click on that. And as you can see, we've got three different tabs. We have general options, output options, and custom styles. In this case, all we need to do is customize general and output. For advanced users, you can use custom styles and include your CSS files. As you can see, we can change the number of related posts to display. In this case, by default, it is set at five. So you can change it to 5, you can change it to 10, you can change it to 3, and so forth. In this case, we're going to leave it at 5. This option here allows you to change the post types. In this case, we're going to leave it as default, post page and attachment. And in this section, you can find related posts based on content as well as the title. So in other words, this plugin is going to search for related posts in relation to contents. If you only want related titles, then you'll want to uncheck this box. In this case, we're going to leave it checked. And this section here allows you to list all of the posts or pages that you do not want to include in the results. So you can include these IDs here. You can also exclude categories here. And in this case, you can add related posts to the post content on single posts. In other words, it gives you more of an impact or it gathers more related posts. In this case, it adds related posts to pages. We're going to leave this unchecked. And we're going to leave everything by default and click on Save Options. Now, under Output Options, this gives you the ability to customize what people see on the live site. So, for example, right now, after somebody reads a post, under your post, they're going to see the related posts. Now, what do you want that headline to be? Do you want it to be related posts or do you want it to be something else? In this case, we're going to leave it as it is. And under this section, if there are no related posts, you can either display no related posts or keep a blank output. In this case, we don't want to really guide the user 
to think, okay, we don't really have related posts because as time goes on, we could be adding related posts in the future. So if somebody were to come back to that post and then later on we do have a related post, we probably want to stay with blank output. Now, that's really up to you. You can test it out and see what works better. In this case, you can show post excerpts in the list. For example, they will see the title and they will see an excerpt. In this case, we're gonna just keep it as the title and leave it unchecked. You can also enter the length of the excerpt if you choose the excerpt. You can customize the output in terms of how it looks like. In this case, we have unordered lists and list items. And this is for advanced users. And if you're familiar with HTML, you can change this around. However, in this case, it looks good just like it is. So we're going to leave it as it is. Under this section, post thumbnail options, the location of the post thumbnail. In this case, we're going to use the do not display thumbnails and only the text. If you do have thumbnails, then you might want to display thumbnails for that specific post. You can change the maximum width and the maximum height in pixels for the thumbnail. And most of this deals with thumbnails. So if you want to customize it for a thumbnail, you can. However, in this case, we're going to leave everything by default and click on save options and that's it. So once you have set the settings and you're ready to go, there's nothing else that you need to do. In fact, you can test this out by going to the live site. And what I'm going to do here is simply pick a post where I know there are going to be related posts. So for example, Red Business Tees, I can see here the related posts are blue business tees and funny tees.